This is one of the drawer fronts on the Seymour Secretary bookcase and it has a key lock that is fitted into the back face of the like this and then four screws to mount it in there and then the key is used to raise that lever and and lock the lock the piece lock the door well the, the Seymours went to some lengths to have a extremely decorative escutcheon for the keyhole and they used ivory to create an urn shaped piece that would fit over the over the keyhole of course we don't have ivory ivory to use so i've created a piece of holly here and i backed it with some of that tape that you use with um in inlay work that has a gummed surface of hide glue uh, i'm ho hoping that that helps strengthen this a little bit and then uh, I had to, I cut this out, this is a large scale shot of the, of the shape of this escutcheon. This isn't as complicated as what the Seymours did, but it, it is what I th thought I could create an urn shape that would work in holly. And I've got various carving gouges highlighted here that tell me which carving gouge is used to cut out the various shapes. For example, here's a 710 that cuts out uh, down here and also up here. So I used these different carving gouges to cut piece out of holly and then uh, also to create the border on this crotch mahogany here and so this this is ready now to fit into the socket and I'm using hide glue I think I'm ready for this um, it's taken several days to work this out. Uh, I want to make sure that this holly is fastened well down on all surfaces. I ended up using the little hand router here to make sure that all the surface is flat and at the uh, depth, common depth. So I think this is ready now to glue and I will also clamp this. I've got a little backing board with wax paper around it so it doesn't get stuck. I'm going to use quite a bit of high glue in here and then clamp, clamp it down and then I'll have to clean out the the hole uh, later with the uh, after the glue uh, softens a little gels up I'll clean out the back from the back side well probably from no it'll be from the back but after I take the clamps off uh, so I have the hot hide glue here ready and it seems to be at a 
consistency that looks about right. It's going to be messy, but I'm going to be hand planing this surface flat and scraping it. So I'm not worried about having a lot of glue on here. Uh, All right, here it goes. It's slightly proud of the surface. Actually, it's it's really close to flush with the existing crotch mahogany. And I'm just going to put a little bit more glue on there and then and then clamp this thing down hard. I've got another board here somewhere. There it is. That looks good. I can see where the hole is and I'm I want to center this clamp on that hole. Okay. Now I'll leave that clamp on there for a few minutes. The hot hide glue is going to cool off and gel and pretty much stick and I can take the clamp off and then clean up some of the gel, the extra gel from the, from the hole. Uh, I'll probably be doing some removal with very fine files uh, after the glue is totally dried out so that the key will then fit okay. Uh, so tomorrow it will be when I can finally clean this up and scrape it and check again that the, the keyhole will work.